Okay, this is the other thing I wanted to talk about. The elephant in the room. Or, in this case, the dollhouse in the garage. I have not worked in the dollhouse since May of last year. Um, there's just been so much going on, I just haven't had the chance. So, my plan for Dark October is to also try to work on the dollhouse some. So, just a reminder, this is a dollhouse that my grandmother built for me that I rescued out of my storage unit. And I am turning it into a haunted dollhouse. So, it was originally painted white. It is now painted this kind of dark charcoal gray color with black trim. Um, I stain, I restained all of the shingles to a darker stain. And, um, and then I, we put it on a new base and I painted the base a lighter gray. So unfortunately I don't have really good light in here on this side because we flipped it around so that I could get to the other side more easily. So this is the sad state of the inside. So it became a home for my paintbrushes and for the wall that needs to be put back in and the window plexi that needs to be put back in and all of the extra parts are in these boxes. So unfortunately it's become a bit of a storage space which I'm not super happy about so I'm hoping to rectify that. So you can see that I have um, the stairwell the staircases taped off because those are the next things that I need to paint and those are going gloss black and I have this railing here um, that was put in there's another one that goes up here that I need to put in but it's in pieces so I have to reconstruct that and we did paint the door this is the front door and it's also black um, and this obviously needs to be reattached so But my plan is, I figure now that it's cooler outside, I should be able to get out here in the garage, even though at the moment I'm sweating, I should be able to get out here and maybe work on this a little bit. So once I get the staircases painted and get the that other railing put on and painted, my next step is I need to start working on the interior because the exterior is basically done. So, um, I started planning out my rooms and what I wanted to put where so that I can start kind of thinking about flooring and wallpaper and ceilings and all that good stuff. I left all the trim on the inside white because I figure I'll paint that depending on what the room ends up looking like. So I do have a ton of furniture that my grandmother gave me or um, made for me. Some of it I think that I can reuse, some of it probably not. So I was trying to determine if, with the slope of this roof, if I could put the bed up here or if it needed to go down here on the second floor. So I have this brass bed and I think that could kind of work, although it's a little tight. Um, but then I also have this wooden canopy, which is really what I wanted to use, um, which is obviously in pieces, so I only have part of it, but it is also tight. So I think I'm going to have to move the bedroom down here. Um, which is fine. I'm just going to have to kind of re figure what I want to do. But this is probably this is probably going to end up being the bedroom, this large room down here in the on the second floor. So, I was sort of test fitting beds 
Um, so yeah, uh, that's kind of where I'm at. So, and I've been trying to do some research on lighting. Dollhouse lighting looks hard though. So I'll have to figure that out. But um, yeah, so um, I had a couple people mention lately that they wondered how the dollhouse was coming. And the answer to that is it's not. But it will hopefully soon start to see some progress. So, all right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. And let me know what your dark October plans are. Bye. Okay, step one. I went looking for my paint for the dollhouse for the staircases. So I've got flat black, but then I also have gloss black. And I think I want to do them glossy. The door, we did this flat black, I think. Yeah. I want to do a glossy but now at least I found the paint so step one done step two is to actually paint hey guys it is Friday October 19th and day 19 of dark October stitching this is not stitching but I thought I would just give you a quick update um, I took some comp time this afternoon off of work, so I decided to come outside and while it's cool and rainy, paint the staircase on the haunted dollhouse. So um, I've got the first coat on. I apologize that the light is not the greatest. Um, but I've got the first coat of paint on the staircase. So yay. And I did end up going with this, um, the matte black, which is the same thing that I used for the trim and for the front door. I looked at doing the gloss black and I tried it on a small section and I didn't love it so matte black um, and I have discovered that painting staircases or really anything inside a dollhouse is much easier if you do it before you glue it in. So as part of the repair work that we did, we glued these staircases back in. And I'm wishing now that we had not done that because it would be a lot easier to paint them if they were not attached. Because um, for example, underneath this staircase, up under here, needs to be painted but I can't see it from here and I don't think I can get my hand through the front door and up here same thing underneath this staircase I don't think I'm gonna be able to get my hand in there because all there is is two windows which we repaired um, the sashing on the windows I know I can't get my hand through there I'm not entirely sure I could have anyway but so I'm doing the best I can I'm kind of learning as I go but at least the first coat is on I mean but as you can see the coverage is really not great so it's definitely gonna need a second coat possibly a third but it felt really good to come out here this afternoon and make some progress on this. So, super happy. 
Hey guys, it's Michelle, and today is Friday, May the 1st, 2020. So, I am getting back to working on my haunted dollhouse. Um, so, I wanted to give you a quick recap of where I'm at. So, it's been a while since I worked on this, and it's sitting on a desk out in my garage. And unfortunately, it's been, it's kind of become a dumping ground a little bit. So the first thing I need to do is clear out whatever is in here that shouldn't be. Um, these two boxes are parts, uh, like extra roof part, etc. Um, so they do technically belong with this, but they don't probably need to be stored inside there. Um, I finished the whole exterior, so now I'm working on the interior, and I've got a wind chime in here that doesn't need to be in here. I need to, I've put a first coat of paint on the two staircases, so I need to finish painting those. So that's my next step. Um, the door also has not been hung. And I have this wall that goes down on the first floor. I just need to figure out where exactly I want to put it before I do that. And I was sort of test fitting some furniture. So I have some furniture from when my grandmother gave this to me originally. Some of it is purchased, like this brass bed stand. Some of it is handmade like this bed, which unfortunately over the years has gotten broken. So all I have is the headboard here, but I was test fitting to see if things would fit up on the top uh, floor. And I don't think that's gonna work. So um, I think I wanna use this bed because it's prettier. Uh, I don't know if I will paint it or restain it. Uh, or leave it as it, it'll probably have to be restained even if I match the color because it'll have to be repaired but I think it's gonna have to go in this room so that just helps me kind of plan for what I'm doing um, but so next step is to finish painting my staircases I'm using the same black paint that I used for um, for the outside trim and for the door. So that's the next step. And then we'll go from there. Okay, I got the second coat on the front of the steps, staircases, and now I'm working on painting the backs of the staircases. And I just got the first coat put on. It's a little fiddly. I probably should have painted these before I attached them. But when we glued them in, we were trying to stabilize the house. So what are you gonna do? And I'm sort of learning as I go. So the backs of the staircases have their first coat on. And how I'm doing this is I'm actually reaching my paintbrush through the window to do it, but my paintbrush wasn't long enough, so Eric attached a screwdriver to it with some gaffer's tape to make my paintbrush longer. <laughs> and that worked. So, uh, backs of the staircases are done. They're a little messy but that's okay. They're at least now not bare wood. So the front of the staircases should be, that second coat should be dry now, so I'm gonna go see if I can put a third coat on. We did the third coat of paint on the staircases yesterday, and today we got to take the tape off. Probably a little touch-up that still needs to happen, but I will work on that 
when I do the floors and the walls. Really happy to have those done finally. And today is May 10th, 2020.